Another one to watch has got to be Tesla. So we know that 150 has huge amounts of puts on it. We'll check that out in a minute. We also know that this is a hated stock at the moment and a lot of retail traders are continuing to buy claiming and I've seen this claim a lot, that this is the greatest capitulation of Tesla that's been seen in some time. Well, not really. I mean, these these capitulations were massive. I mean, these were huge legs down. This looks scary, but we have to put things in, you know, I guess a little bit of history and a little bit of context. There is a gap that hasn't been closed from a massive rally at 136. We know that consumer discretionary is not popular right now. We also know that it's highly likely that Tesla will not want to close below 150 by Friday. Why? Well, it's got to do with options. Let's look at the weight of evidence. Now, a lot of options were closed. Also, someone went crazy on 190 calls literally just the other day. Look at that. They just opened all these 190 calls. They went wild. So we've got 190 calls all over the place. We have the 150 puts, which look insignificant now. And I'm not sure if these guys are going to make any money, but 190 calls just came out of nowhere there. So 150 was always our put strike where we thought that the buyers may recommit. We're so close to that level now. By Friday, you would probably not expect it to be below that point. You would also not really expect 190 calls to get paid off as well. 1.658 million units on Tesla. Decent amount coming into the quadruple witching. Let's move over now to 